All right, well, so check this out, man. Hold up. Let me... All right, it's like, let me see. It's like 10%, bro. This thing bangs so hard. Wait till that beat kick in. Let me turn it up a little bit or you good right here at 10%? Let's turn it up a little bit. Turn it up. Let's hear it. That's one clip. That's, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's one clip. You want another click? You want another? Let's I, hear it. I see you. I see you. Let's hear it. Raylan's out of here. Oh, man, that's what's up. What you think about that, Raylan? <laughs> oh, dude, where are we at? Where are we at? All right, come in here, man. I want to show you something. I'm going to crank it up to about 40 or 50. All right, bruh, I really can't go higher than that. Oh man, dude, you didn't maybe forget we were shooting a video. <laughs> hey, boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV. I'm your host, Antoine. I'm gonna make your eardrums bleed today, Richardson, because today we are talking about this brand new, hot and fresh off the skillet, Sony Alt Tower 10. Oh, I have something for you. What is it? What is this? Dude, come on. Wilson, you know why I've been looking for this, man. I'm glad you brought this over here, man. I was looking for some speaker data. Anyhow. I'm going to tell you guys about this brand new Sony Alt Tower 10, and we're going to talk about all the specs. Yeah, Wilson, I appreciate you, bro. Look at here, man. Look at this. Look at this. See that big old driver right there? I don't even want to call that a driver. That's a that, that's a woofer, okay? And it looks like a 12. What you think? It's a 10 or a 12? I think it's a 12. It looks like a 12. That looks like a 12 to me, man. A big old square 12 up underneath there. We got some ports down here because you got to get at that 12 some breathing room. You know what I'm saying? That thing's got to breathe. This is like heavy breathing, like a big fat pillow. <gasps> <laughs> and then you got some mid-range. Oh, they look like tweeters, but I bet you a lot of mid-range is coming out of here. These two drivers right here. Then you got two tweeters up at the top of the uh, assembly right here. But because Sony does this in a special way, they want you to hear the sound like from all around. Just like with the XB800, what they've done is they put some drivers on the back, got some tweet tweets on the back. So basically pretty much anywhere you're standing, like if you put this thing in a room, just put it in the center of the room, you're not only going to feel the beat and the pressure. Raylan, what's going on down here, bro? <laughs> he is like doing, he's getting real intimate with that toy. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, anywhere you set this thing, you're going to hear quality sound. You're going to feel the pressure from the, from the driver and the beat, but you're also going to hear it like, fidelity, the quality of it, because you got kind of like a surround sound situation here. Just It's just blaring out of everywhere. Since we're on the back side of this thing, I want you to see that it does not have a battery. You must keep this thing plugged up. There's your AC plug right there. It's plugged into the wall. And then we're going to come around the back here to the speaker booty. Look at that. Open up that booty flap right there. And then you've got your USB in for charging, like you can charge your device, or you can just play some inputs there uh, or play some files off of there. And then you got your, your optical input, and then you got your 3.5 millimeter aux in. Guess what, Wilson? This thing is so clutch. The way that Sony does this is they have this thing where you can use this, like this device right here. Can you imagine using this as like your speaker for your TV? Oh my God, that'd be insane. <laughs> so what you do is they, they give you an optical cable with it. Let me, let me get the optical cable. Look, so they give you this optical cable. As soon as you plug this optical cable into here, and then you plug this into your TV, what happens now is your TV actually uses this as the sound for your TV. Bruh, that's a lot of sound. Can you imagine watching something like Six Underground or like, like King Kong versus Godzilla with this thing turned up? You're gonna on, hear everything. On Ult 2? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy, man, crazy. But speaking of things they give you with it, they also give you this microphone, man. This is a wireless microphone. Drums, please! You see this right here? This is it right there. That's cool. This is almost like a cup holder, man. Sony, if there was anything you could do to improve this thing, you should have put a cup holder right here, man. That would have been nice to have like a little red solo cup holder right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> but this is a microphone holder. It slides in just like that. And you got two of them because you can get another microphone if you want. Come around this side, Wilson. It just tucks away when you don't need it. And if you got two, you can have one on each side. I'll get to the microphone in a bit. But first, before we get to that, we got to get to the top because we got a top speaker booty too. You open this little flap up right here. Boom, just like that. And then you got, let's start over to the left. We got the guitar button. And then we got a gain knob. Then you got your uh, 6.2 for your mic or guitar input right there. Close that speaker booty up because we ain't using that right now. Then we got the front panel or top panel, I should say. So we got all kinds of stuff here because this is not only like a, an ear bleeding speaker, it is also a karaoke machine. Oh, look at this. We'll go here. This is a feature. You see that? <laughs> that is a feature because you can put your tablet there, homie. Put your tablet right there. iPad, Samsung, Galaxy Tab, whatever you got. Put it right there in portrait or landscape. This is epidemic sound, so we're just working with portrait. But you can set that there. You can have your lyrics up here and stuff. And then you got key control. And then you got echo. And then you got your colors. You see right now, my wife loves purple. Let me tell y'all, man. Me and my wife, we was jamming yesterday. <laughs> We had a little little two person party up in here, man. My wife, she's going, she's going a little crazy with the Taylor Swift. <laughs> we had a good time, man. But her favorite color is purple, so that's why it's on purple. These are de dedicated colors right here. We got red. Let's just cycle through them real quick. You can just quickly go to the color schemes. We got red, which I'm seeing fire now. It's got like red, orange, and and yellow. And then we got actual yellow, which is going to cycle between like greenish yellow. Then we got green, which is, oh, I'm seeing some bluish, some teal, some green. Then we got actual blue, well, a little blue. What else we got? Do I see a little purple? Maybe a little bit of purplish, maybe mostly blue though, like skies and, and navies. Then we get into that purple again, because I don't want my wife to hurt me when she turns it on and figure out I change her color. But if you want to get into the Sony Fiestival app, that app is crazy. You can do all kinds of karaoke type stuff in there. Changing colors, uh, sounds from your voice, all kinds of crazy. The Fiestival app is, is a separate app from the Sony Music Center app. Download that one to unlock the full potential of what's going on with, with this speaker right here. On a pontoon, I open. Ooh, Lord, Got your play and pause right there. And then you got your up and down for your volume. Riding down the highway, who wants to be the DJ? Hey, check this out, man. So you see that big old power button right there? That's that's necessary. It needs to be big because, you know, when you got your red cups in your hand, you know what I'm saying? And the cops are coming because the cops will come. You need to turn this thing off really quick. So you need to access the big gigantic power button. But across from the power button, there's another important button right here. This is the alt button. Let me let me explain to you. Sit down, man. Let me let me explain what alt means, okay? So you can have alt off, which is fine. I will still respect you, okay? But once you press that alt button once, what it does is give you deeper bass. This thing already thumps like crazy. But once you hit alt once, alt one will give you deeper bass. Alt two keeps that deep bass but gives you more sound pressure. Oh man, check this out. So I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, that's Alt 2. All right, I'm gonna have to give you a sound sample, like a clean one, but this is crazy. So this is, this is off. You feeling it, Wilson? It already sounds good as it is. It just sounds good. Yeah. Fidelity, right? Alt 1. Man. You feel that kick? Uh, yeah. It's just like. All right, I'm gonna go to Alt 2. Dude, it's just like. You just feel it. <laughs> and this beat is so nasty, bro. Oh man, dude, I could just ride out to this beat all day. This is my new theme song, by the way, my new theme song. All right, 
Where do we want to go next, Wilson? What should we talk about, man? You want to go to the mic? Let's go with the mic. Oh, all right. Let's go to the mic. All right. Just press power on. Just a single button press. And the mic just automatically connects just like that. And then you got my... <clears throat> mm, yeah, you got my voice. Yeah, yeah. You like that? <laughs> That's real smooth, man. That's really smooth. Oh, you know, you know. Oh man, so the mic is clean, man. No, I don't, there's tap, 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 testing, one, two. No latency in the mic. Everything sounds really good and clean. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. It's a full scale karaoke machine. Once you actually add on, like, I can't play like YouTube right now, but what me and the wife were doing yesterday, we had it on YouTube music and YouTube music will give you lyrics. So we were just sitting here just jamming it out. Just, Rocking out, brush, and we was going hard. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. Party on down to the escape beat. Just and this is the Fresh Bridge's new definition of so bad. <laughs> Alright, man, we want to say goodbye to the people since you want to be all up in my in my spot here. Say something to the people. You want to say, what, what is that? <laughs> You're supposed to say something. <laughs> Got me here sweat, man. Say something for the people. All right, that's it, man. That's it. He don't. <laughs> He's speechless. <laughs>